Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart the game. So if the game is running, close the game and then relaunch the game and then check. This has worked for a few players, so it might work for you. Simply restart the game and then check. If that does not work, disable Steam input. This has worked for many players. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the controller tab, turn off this option uh, disable this steam input so just disable steam input and then you can launch the game and then check just launch the game and then check it's still still not working in that case uh, you can even try to enable stream Input and then check which one is working fine for you for me uh, disabling steam input is working fine now the next step is to but when you disable or enable the steam input make sure that you restart the game Next step is to use wired connection. Now this is working for almost all the players. So instead of using wireless, you can go wired. You can connect your connect the controller to the computer using the USB cable, and then you can check. The next step is to PlayStation. This is for PlayStation controller user. Enable con controller in sound control panel. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box. Then go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound, and then go to sound option. Now you have to connect your controller using the you have to use the wired connection and then uh, over here uh, you will see your controller now in my case let me connect the controller now once the con controller is connected you will see over here dual sense wireless controller so you can make a right click if this is disabled you can just enable it and then make a right click and then click on configure speakers quadraphonic next Put a check on front, left, and right, and surround speaker. Make sure both are checked, and then click on next. Click on finish. Okay. Now you can launch the game, and then you have to relaunch the game, and then still not working. Uh, the next step is now again for PlayStation controller user, you can use this DS4 Windows. You can search in Google, install this DS4 Windows application, and then configure it, and then launch the game. Next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, in that case, you can open Microsoft Store. So type in Xbox accessories app, and then open Xbox accessories app, and then you have to install Xbox accessories app, and then you have to click on open. Once you launch Xbox Accessories app, connect your controller using the USB cable. So let me connect the controller. Uh, once you use the wired connection, uh, it should detect your controller over here. Now, once detected, now click on this three dots more option over here. And then if there is any update, click on update now and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you have to relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to use PlayStation accessories app if you have PlayStation controller. Now for this, you can go to Google, search in Google, go to PlayStation official website. And over here, you will see the uh, download for Windows. You can run this exe file and then you can install Xbox, uh, PlayStation accessories app and then you can launch. In my case, it is already installed. So you can launch PlayStation accessories app and then you, you have to uh, connect to your controller. Uh, once you connect your controller, uh, if uh, there is like if the controller is not up to date in that case you will see update option let me connect my controller first controller is connected uh, it will detect your controller and over here if it is not up to date you will see update option in my case it is already up to date so update your controller and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So go to Steam at the top right here. You can see big picture mode. I can click on it. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, uh, then you can uh, let me. So once the Steam is in big picture mode, uh, find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, you can launch the game and then you can check. 
still not working the last step is to disconnect all the usb adapter which you're not using disconnect all kind of usb adapter external devices you can if you want if you are using external keyboard you can disconnect it launch the game and then check uh, disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected uh, disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any virtual controller like vijo etc you can install uninstall it or you can disable it so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel